Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back and Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Well, Christmas is over by the time this video goes up, but I hope you guys had a great Christmas with your loved ones, your friends, your family members. I really hope you guys had an amazing, amazing, amazing holiday with everyone you love. But anyway, to end off the year, we're gonna be doing a full face of all affordable drugstore products that are new. So I have some brand new products. I also have some new products that are not so much brand new, but they're new to me. But um, yes, let's beat this face. I wanna do a full coverage, um, I guess like a New Year's Eve glam using some new Products. So let's just go ahead and dive in. I have this new um, Milani Rose Butter Lip Balm. They have come out with some new products, y'all. Some new products. This is the only one that I've gotten for, ooh, this is like buttery, buttery. But it looks very similar to my Milani Keep It Smooth. But this one, just by dipping my finger in it, it feels a little bit thicker. But I'm just gonna put this on my lips first because y'all know I always like to apply any type of moisturizer on my lips. But yeah, Milani is coming out with a lot of new products. I see that they have some of them on, um, why am I saying Sephora? I see that they have some of them listed on Ulta, but um, they have more on their actual website if you guys wanna check it out. But this is the only thing that I have that's pretty new. From Milani, I know they have some cute eyeshadow palettes that are coming out. I feel like I have enough eyeshadow palettes anyway, but yeah. Mmm, this is really, really buttery. Really smooth, it's not sticky. Mmm, I like it. So yeah, now that the lips are nice and moisturized, let's move on to the face. I am so excited to try this out. This is the Olay Serum Stick. I hauled this, some of the products that I'm sharing, I actually hauled in my recent haul video. It was like a mixture of makeup, accessories, clothes. So definitely check that video out. If you guys missed it, I will have it linked down below. But I'm excited for this. It's a serum, but it's in stick form. They have three in total. I decided to get the refreshing one and I picked this up from Ulta. So. This will be the very first thing that I apply on my face. You can use this under your makeup and you can also use it by itself if you, you know, don't wanna apply any makeup. But I do know, ooh, it feels cold. I do know you can apply this and have it worn under your makeup. It has like a warm, sweet, fresh scent. So it's a mixture of all three, like warm, sweet, and fresh. But y'all know, if you don't know by now, I am the worst at describing scents. But this smells really, really good. It smells really nice. So that's all I'm going to put on the face. It does feel really cold, like kind of cooling once I applied it on there. But I'm just going to tap it in. It feels a little sticky too. But I do like how it smells. Yeah, so... Maybe if I apply it a little bit more, I can actually rub it on my skin. But right now, I feel like if I rub it, well, yeah, I can rub it. Okay. I was scared that it'll start, you know, crumbling up, kind of give you that white crumb residue. But I mean, it feels really nice on my skin. It feels so, like, light. And it does make my skin feel really smooth, too. But, um, yeah, again, this is the refreshing one. And I guess that's why, I mean, that's why it felt kind of cool on my skin because it is a refreshing one. I don't know, but yeah. Okay. So far, not too bad. I definitely want to try to mix it into my nighttime skincare routine or even, no, more so my morning skincare routine. Because right now I have like a certain skincare routine that I'm sticking with for my nighttime routine, but I do kind of switch it up in the morning times. Um, so that'll definitely be one that I throw in my morning skincare routine. So next, I am so excited about you guys. This is the Elf Hydrating Primer Serum. So um, I did a video on the Elf Blurring Serum and it's really, really similar to the Farsali Skin Tune Serum. I actually did like a drugstore versus high-end 
makeup tutorial and in that video I mentioned that I also had this one and I just haven't opened it yet I haven't tried it yet so this is gonna be like a true first impression so yeah this is the elf hydrating primer serum and it comes in a drop tube just like the um, the blurring serum but this one it's not like a dropper but I mean it comes in a dropper y'all see what I'm saying but this is how it looks it's clear does it have a scent nope doesn't really have a scent I still kind of smell the serum that's on my face right now so yeah it doesn't really have a scent but this is gonna be our primer for today and I am so excited about it drop it on our face like that it is pretty runny as you can see oh and it feels like water wait what is that product when you apply it on your face like it drops what is that product you know what it's kind of reminding me of the Ren um, that new primer that I got from Sephora not too long ago that I was using like non-stop what is it the Ren it comes in an orange bottle and I was using that thing pretty much for a month straight I know you guys know what I'm talking about but it feels like that but it doesn't feel sticky on the skin like this feels really really hydrating it feels nice and it makes my skin look good too okay now it's starting to dry down and it's starting to get pretty tacky on the skin so yeah this is really 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 reminded me of that Ren primer Oh yeah, because when that one, um, once you apply it, once it dries down, it gets kind of um, tacky on the skin. So this may be an affordable dupe to the Ren primer that I got from Sephora. So let me know if you guys want me to do another video on drugstore versus high end and I'll definitely use that with the Ren primer. So definitely let me know. Oh yeah, it does dry down pretty tacky. So that's good because I like when my primers get tacky on the skin because it allows my makeup to stick Stay in place and not move throughout the day so um, now that the primer and serum is on the skin I'm just gonna let everything sit for a few minutes and I'm gonna go in with my brows I don't have a new brow pencil to use but I did purchase another um, Revolution Pro brow pencil because I love this one so 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 much so I went ahead and repurchased another one this is in the shade dark brown so I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'll be right back all right guys so the brows are on I've been trying out this thing where I don't put concealer on top of my brows because I haven't really been putting a lot of foundation on my forehead anymore so let me know what you guys think um obviously not right now because you guys can see that nothing is done but um You'll see once I get done with my makeup. But the foundation I'm using is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick. This is my second one, you guys. I use this thing non-stop. It's Deep Dark 185. So like I said, I use up the one that I had because I love it so, so, so much. So I went ahead and got another one. They actually sent this other one over to me. And since I haven't used this um, in a while on my channel, I decided to go ahead and use it today. All right, that is all I'm gonna put. So I don't apply any on my forehead. I just go ahead and blend everything out. But yeah, I don't have any new drugstore or affordable foundations to use today. So that's why I pulled out my ColourPop. And since I haven't used this in forever, ever since I ran out, I decided to go ahead and use it today in this video. Now it may look a little warm, but let me tell you, once it's all blended out and once everything is on the skin it looks flawless sometimes what I like to do when I'm using foundation sticks is spray my face a little bit with like a, a mist so I'm gonna take the Olay energizing mist and this is just gonna make the foundation spread out a little bit easier because it's kind of hard um, because the stick is pretty thick so this just makes it spread out a little bit more, a little bit more even. And I just take whatever's left on the sponge, just kind of lightly blend it up on my forehead area right here, just like that. All right, so that's all the foundation I'm gonna put on. I'm not gonna go, I actually can go in with another layer if I wanted to, but I'm not. We're just gonna keep it like this. And y'all, this concealer that I have, ah! 
I am excited. I am so excited about this concealer. It is the Born to Glow, well, the NYX Born to Glow concealer. And I grabbed two shades because I honestly didn't know what shade would work best for me. But I got the shade um, Golden Honey and I also got the shade, uh, the shade Warm Honey. So I went ahead and took off the plastic of Golden Honey before I did this one because I wanna see if this is gonna be it. So if this is it, I'm not even gonna take the plastic off of this one. But when I saw that they had this on Ulta, I got so excited. And I showed you guys in one of my blogs, like from my Blogmas, so it does have like a little sponge tip and you just squeeze it like that. But I was showing you guys these online in Vlogmas. Come on, there it goes. All right, so you just squeeze it and let's see. The color's not that bad, but let me apply a little bit more. Okay, you know what? I think this color will work. So I'm gonna stick to this color for now because the other one is actually a little bit lighter. Judging, um, judging off how they were on line, the other one was lighter than this one. So this one, this one will work. So we're just gonna apply it right there and then a little bit right here. So, I wanna try this new brush. Even though this does have like a sponge applicator, you can probably rub it in with it, but I feel like more product will come off on the face. But I wanna try this new brush that I hauled in my haul video recently. This is the Eco Tools. So it came with a powder brush, which I'm gonna be using in a little bit as well. And it also came with this cute little slanted brush and this is called their full coverage concealer brush so i just want to try it out with this concealer and blend it out okay it actually blends really good it doesn't look streaky either even though i much rather prefer using a sponge this is actually nice so Okay, this concealer is, it, okay, it's giving me coverage, but I almost can see through it. Like I can almost see through it, if that makes sense. But the color is not bad at all. It's not bad. This is definitely a perfect color for highlighting under my eyes I'm gonna blend those edges out so it won't look too harsh oh yeah that's a good color for highlighting so we're good we're not gonna open up the other one because that one is definitely lighter but this brush is pretty cool and it fits it fits perfectly right here like right under my eyes oh yeah I will say though this concealer is blending like a dream it's blending out so beautifully y'all the foundation though that is definitely top foundation of 2019 the born this way not born this way but the born to glow foundation by nyx it made it into my top foundations of 2019 so if you missed that video, girl, definitely check it out. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go around the edges, like where the concealer stops, so that way there's no harsh lines anywhere. And this is using the same, um, the same sponge that I used with my foundation earlier. But so far, this is how we are looking. I usually apply concealer on my lids. I don't know why I didn't do that. Let me go ahead and do that real quick and I'm just gonna um, blend out the concealer on my lids with a sponge. So this is pretty much my eyeshadow primer. I don't really use primer, I just use concealer. But I'm gonna go ahead and set it with a setting powder. Now I don't have any new drugstore or affordable setting powders to try out so I pulled out my Wet n Wild 
um, banana powder, which I haven't really been using a lot lately. So that's why I wanted to pull it out. And I'm just gonna set everywhere that I applied my concealer with this powder. And then the next thing I like to do is just set everywhere else that I didn't apply my loose setting powder. So I'm gonna go back to using my Revolution Matte Press Powder. This is in the shade P13. And when I tell y'all, this is probably one of the best affordable drugstore, well, you can't get this out of the drugstore, but it is very, very, very affordable. I think these are only $5, but let me tell you, this right here, you get a lot of product. Like, look how huge this thing is. You get, uh, dang, I can't find it, and I'm wasting time talking about this. But anyway, you can see how big it is. It's pretty large, but I use two of them. I use this one as my press, uh, my all-over face powder, and then I use another one in the shade P14 as my bronzer so this i'm just gonna lightly dust everywhere that i did not apply the setting powder and i'm using that new brush that i showed you guys in my haul this is the powder the pointed powder brush by eco tools so even though i don't apply much foundation on my forehead anymore i still go in with a little bit of powder just so everything can be even you know and let me just say i like this brush it's so freaking soft like drugstore has some of the best brushes you guys like do not sleep on real techniques don't sleep on eco tools now i can say it because i've tried eco tools i've tried their bre uh their blood what am i talking about i tried their um sponge the eco tool sponge recently and i love it so this is nice. Oh yeah. Okay. Now that my face, like I just want to keep doing this because it feels so good. <laughs> it feels so freaking good. But now that my face is set with the powders, look how, girl, the skin. But yeah, now that my face is set with the powders, I'm going to go in with the Patricia Bright Face Palette. So I have um, Dusk Till Dawn and I also have You Are Gold. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with You Are Gold. This is how You Are Gold looks. And then I'm going to use Dusk Till Dawn as my blush and highlighter. So this is how Dusk Till Dawn looks. But I think the bronzer in here will be the perfect, perfect, perfect one for me. You know what? I'm just going to stick to this brush and go in with the bronzer and just see how it looks oh yes do y'all see the warmth do y'all see that mm. okay look at that look how pretty and warm that makes my face look and i i still type and i still take a little bit of it to go on my forehead like the temples of my forehead right there but, oh yeah this is nice this is nice just warm up the face I almost forgot to go back oh, back into my brows I'm gonna take my brow pencil one more time and this is where I just fade the inner part of my brows like this with the brow pencil since I've already done my entire face so some of the product kind of goes into the brows and make them look a little faded right there so they won't look too like you know what I mean all right and then I'm gonna take a little bit more of that bronzer do I want to use the bronzer because it's so warm actually I'm gonna go into this one this is dusk till dawn and use the bronzer in here since it is a little bit deeper and I'm gonna take a very, 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 very small amount of that on this brush right here. This is by Flower Beauty. And I got this from Walmart, if you guys are wondering. But I'm just gonna take a little bit of it, kinda dust it on my hand, so that way I won't be picking up too much product. And then take it down the side of my nose like this, just to kinda, you know, contour my nose and take it into my brow. So keeping it right there, like that. Don't worry, I am gonna be blending this out. I know it looks crazy. I know it looks kind of harsh, but I will be blending it out so it won't look too crazy. So, 
Um, before I blend it out, I'm gonna go back into my banana setting powder and I'm gonna take my sponge. Um, I'm gonna take the flat side of it so it'll be easier. And this is where I just apply that on the sides of my nose and let it sit. Now I was gonna use a Patricia Bright palette in today's video, but I wanted to do a New Year's Eve look with you guys. Um, so we're gonna be using some sparkly shadows. I'm gonna take this new uh, ColourPop Gold, what is it, Good As Gold eyeshadow palette and I wanna go for a smoky gold, just something smoky brown, gold, and black. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, let's see. Ooh, so many choices, so many choices. I will dip into the Patricia Bright palette in another video because I have some more products that are drugstore and affordable that are new. So I do have another one coming up and you guys will definitely see me use that palette in that video. But I'm gonna dip into, um, let's see. Let's dip into Bold Rush, this brown right here. So this is gonna be our crease color. I'm gonna use my Morphe M535 brush. Where's, I thought I had my M504, but it's okay. We'll use this in the crease right here. So do I want this to be a simple look or do I want this to be a look that's like going out I don't know we'll see we'll see how this is gonna turn out but right now we're just focusing the brown in the crease that is pretty and doing the same thing on this side all right now that we have our crease color on I'm gonna dip into the black and I'm using the same brush um, so that way the colors can really just blend in plus I don't really like to switch out my brushes anyway if you guys watch my tutorials <laughs> you know that <laughs> but I don't know I just always like to stick one um, one or two brushes when I'm doing my looks but I'm just tapping the black right here on the outer part of the lid oh yes this is nice Ooh, wait Wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want this look to look like the one that I just did for my classic holiday look. Ooh, and that is what it looks like it's about to be, but I'll switch it up. I'll make this darker. Look how dark that is, yeah. Plus, I didn't use black in that video anyway, so. So yeah, it's not gonna be the same. Ooh. All right. So some of that black, it may look a little messy right now, but I'm going to take care of that in a few minutes. But this is pretty much where I want to put the black and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm going to go into, they have three different golds in here that I feel like would be really pretty. Let me, oh, that one's like a pressed glitter. So I'm not going to use that, like barely any of the product. Oh, that's actually really pretty. I might use that. Okay, I'm gonna use that on top of Gilded. So th this gold right here, oh yes. Oh, they're pretty glittery. Like I thought they were more metallic-y, but they're really glittery. So this is perfect for a New Year's Eve look. So I'm gonna take Gilded, um, yeah, Gilded, using my finger. And I'm just gonna play, ooh, do y'all see that shine? Do y'all see that? I'm just taking my finger and placing it on my lid like that. Now I'm gonna dip into that first shade that um, I dipped my finger in and just go over that color to give it more shine. Look at that, y'all, Oh. Yes. Oh, this just definitely stepped up the look. Like it gave it extra sparkle. Like extra, extra sparkle. I'm gonna take a clean brush. This is the Fenty blending brush. And I'm gonna go back into the very first shade. This 
brown right here and I'm gonna lightly take it into the crease just kind of blend that black together kind of lightly drag it over like that just so things can look more blended you know okay so that's all I'm gonna do for now I'm gonna apply some black liner on my waterline and then smudge it out using um, that brown shade right there and I'm gonna be applying these new lashes by ColourPop. I'm gonna do this off camera because I always struggle with applying my lashes on camera, but these are gonna be the lashes that I'm gonna be applying and you guys will see how they look on me. So these are the Dame Falsies. And y'all know I never really switch out my lashes on my channel. I always stick to my Ardell Remy lashes, but I saw these and I was really excited to try them out. So yes. That's what I'm gonna apply and I will be right back. All right, so I have the lashes on and I wanted to show you guys how they look before I even mess with them as far as like curling them with my eyelash curler. But this is how they look um, right when I apply them. So you can see how natural looking they are. I think these are perfect for those natural everyday looks. Maybe not so much this look. I think I would definitely want something more um volumizing because these are pretty thin definitely a perfect lash for that everyday makeup no makeup makeup look or even like a full-on full coverage look but you still want more natural on your um more of a natural lash this will be perfect for that because they're not thick they're very lightweight i really like the band on them too it's not heavy it's not too thick they feel very comfortable and I'm pretty sure that they'll look more um, dramatic if you curl them a little bit more. But I'm not going to curl them just yet because I do want to reuse them and um, see how they look on a more natural look. But so far, so good. So I'm going to go ahead and try out this mascara. This is the Milani Highly Rated Mascara. And I know this isn't... I don't think this is new, but I've never tried any mascara from Milani. So that's what I'm gonna do. I always like to apply mascara after I apply my lashes. So yeah, okay, so the one is, I don't know, let me apply it first and see how it is. But so far I'm not much of a fan of how the one looks. It looks like it'll be one of those that don't really latch onto every single lash. It kind of like, you know how some of those mascaras, they just, um, they just brush your lashes instead of just gripping to them. But let me at least apply some on my bottom lashes. Hmm, not that bad. Yeah, it's not that bad. What do you guys think? Do you like these lashes on me better than my Ardell Remy lashes? And those are the ones that I wear in all of my videos. Pretty much all of my videos ever since the middle of last year. I've been rocking the Ardell Remy lashes. Excuse me. But let me know, do you like these? They're cute. They're cute. Yeah, I'm gonna see how they look on another look, like a more natural look, but they're cute. And they're under $10, so still affordable. Still affordable, girl. Okay. And I love how they flare out at the end instead of just having like an even lash. Like I hate that. I hate when lashes are even right at like all the way across. For me, they have to be short right here and then kind of flare out at the end. But these are cute. I don't know how they look straight ahead because when I look this way in my monitor, I can't really see a true, like I can't see straight ahead, but I will see once I start editing this video. But looking down in my mirror and then on my monitor, they actually look a little cute. So we're gonna see once we edit this video, but I like them, they're cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust away this powder on my nose and also blend out the contour. And I also wanna go back into the ColourPop palette and pick up a lighter, frosty shade so I'm gonna um, go into 24k and this is gonna be the highlight 
for my inner corner even though some of that glitter is already right there I still want to make it pop a little bit more Ooh, that is gorgeous oh yeah this is the perfect New Year's Eve glam glittery smoky eye okay so blush highlighter we're gonna go back into the Revlon um, why am I saying Revlon revolution revolution the revolution palette by Patricia bright and this one is dusk till dawn so I want to use this one as my blush and highlighter um, dang yeah here we go so I'm gonna take this hourglass double-sided brush use this side the bigger side as my blush ooh that is really pigmented so let me kind of tap off some of that and put it on and put it right here Ooh, do y'all see yeah you don't need a lot of this because this right here very very pigmented but do y'all see that if you put on too much blush and I know I say this in a lot of my videos, but some of you are new. But if you put on too much blush, just go back into the powder brush that you used and just kind of tap over it like that. And then we're going to go into the highlighter. And I'm just going to take this random brush that was on my table. This is the Nabla Cheeky Shaper brush. It's not so much a highlighter brush, but I mean, it was sitting right here and it's clean. So I'm going to use this as the highlight or highlight today. Oh, this is cute. It's not, um, it's not too blingy. Like it gives you a nice soft sheen of highlight, which I like. Okay. I like that. Yes, yes, yes. I haven't really been highlighting the middle of my face anymore. I don't know. I just like highlighter on the sides of my face. I've kind of cut out foundation like applying foundation on my forehead i've cut out applying concealer above my brows i've cut out a couple of steps in my makeup routine which i've actually been liking recently so let me know if you guys see a difference you probably don't but um especially with my brows do you see a difference you guys know i always put concealer above and then blend it out with my sponge but i feel like it pretty much looks the same um, I just don't have much product on my forehead like I usually do so let me know um, lips I didn't know what color I wanted to go for this look so I just pulled out some nudes and I also pulled out a glittery gloss because New Year's Eve we want something glittery fun so I'm gonna use a lip liner first this is the BFF 2 yeah the ColourPop BFF 2 and I'm just gonna line my lips with this we're just gonna do a nude lip because nude goes with everything and since we have so much going on with the eyes I feel like nude would be perfect so I'm just gonna line my entire lips with this color and then I'm gonna go on top of that with this lipstick by Revlon this is in the shade mink Ooh, I had to make sure I was still recording but yeah I'm gonna go all the way over my lips with mink and then you can definitely leave it like this if you want but if you want more of a gloss more of a shine more of a pop on the lips you can always go over it with a gloss so i'm going to use the ColourPop ultra glossy lip in the shade hypnotease this is a really pretty fun gold glittery gloss it's actually a good affordable dupe to the well the way it looks it looks like it'll be a good affordable dupe to the new fenty gloss bomb but let me apply it on top see this just gives you a pot of gold on the lips y'all see that do y'all see look how pretty that oh girl this is so pretty do y'all see that so it just gives you a pop of gold right there on the center you can go all the way on your lips but I'm just gonna pop it right there on the center look at that mm -mm. look at that all right guys so this is my new year's eve full on glam i really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial everything that i used that was new to me in today's video i really really liked um so the serum the concealer the primer 
like I said earlier, let me know if you want me to do another video where I do a drugstore versus high-end makeup tutorial, which I like doing those anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do it anyway. But if you are wanting to see that, definitely let me know down below. And as you guys know, well, if you watch my videos, you guys know that I like to do monthly giveaways on my channel. I'm still doing that for today's video, but I'm also doing a extra giveaway for today's video. Shout out to ColourPop and Soul Body for gifting me some products to give away to you guys. So, if you stuck to the very end, uh, what can we do? Let's see. I guess I'm gonna put on the screen what to comment down below in the comments. So, read whatever I put on the screen and um, leave it down below in the comments. So, ColourPop sent over this 4th Ray Beauty face milk, which I have been obsessed with lately. So I definitely want to gift this to one of you guys. You have one, two, three, four, five different ones in this set. So you'll get this. And if you want to get your glow on for the New Year's, I have this glow set. This is the Big Glow Energy Mini Glow Set from Soul Body. So you have the, um, the body shimmer in here, which I've already used in, I think, two tutorials on my channel already so you guys most of you have already seen me demo this body um highlighter right here but it also comes with a shimmering dry oil um shimmering dry oil and a glow oil and this one is in the shade warm gold which is gorgeous so um yeah so if you guys want to win these two items definitely leave down in the comments what i put on the screen earlier but that is all that i have for today's video you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it um and like i said i still do my monthly giveaways if you guys want to enter those it's very easy all you have to do is make sure that you are already subscribed to my channel make sure you thumbs up this video as well as leave a comment down below in the comment section and i never want the comments to be anything about the giveaway let's talk about the products that i use in today's video if you tried out any of these products, let me know. I want to know your thoughts. If you like them, if you don't like them, let me know. So let's go ahead and chit chat about it down below in the comments. And that is all that I have for today. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs it up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.